Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another one of my videos. In today's video, we're going over the Queen Charge Baby Chicken Attack Strategy. For this attack strategy, you'll need 5 wall breakers, 2 balloons, which will act as cocoa balloons, you'll need 5 healers for the queen, and you'll need 17 baby dragons. For the spells, you're going to need 4 rage spells, 1 jump spell, and 1 poison spell. All these are going to go for the Queen Charge. And for clan castle troops, you don't necessarily need anything. You can attack without clan castle troops and without a siege machine, which is a lovely thing about the stack. But if you're going to be using this in wars, you should probably take something like some hog riders or something like that just to help you take out a few defenses. Let's watch how to execute this attack. So this is the first base we're attacking. And as you can see, our plan is to send in our queen into here. And she's going to take out all of this stuff right here. And then our baby dragons, we can send them in here, 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 and just all around the base. Just like so. It is very important when using this attack strategy not to put more than one baby dragon in one place because the reason that they're so strong and that this attack strategy in general is so strong is because when they're alone they're boosted and they have a lot of value each one separately and they do a lot of damage like that but if you put two together they're going to lose that boost and they will become less much less effective so again let's watch what i do first of all i start my queen charge with two baby dragons on each side just to help with the funnel i put down a coco loon for my queen charge and my healers and then i can you know put down my wall breakers to funnel my queen into the base and just like that i set up my queen charge i can go times four because now at this point it's just me occasionally putting down rage spells onto my queen to keep it alive i put down another coco loon it didn't pick up anything and i just keep my queen going into the center she's gonna take down a whole lot of stuff you know like an air defense and an eagle artillery and the enemy king and the enemy queen i'm pretty sure she will also take out notice that when the wizard tower started hitting my healers i put down this baby dragon right here to take care of that wizard tower and i sniped it off like that and this is very important because the queen charge is the main part of this attack strategy so you have to protect it with your entire life so now i just keep going keep going my queen took out the enemy queen and at this point i took down about 35 percent of the base and now, as you can see, I have a big chunk of the base token out, and there's almost like a road path right here for my baby dragons. And then I can put them sporadically with a good, decent gap in between of them. As you can see, it's about two building gap in between each of the baby dragons. So do about two to three building gap between each baby dragon. And then I just put them all around the base just like so, and I put my king and grand warden together. I just put them in places where they would get the most value. I put down my jump spell so that my queen can go pretty much wherever she wants. She still has her healers alive. And just like so, I could swag my poison and a whole lot of stuff. And just like so, that's a very easy 3-star with a strong attack strategy with no clan castle or siege machine. Okay guys, let's hop into another replay. And as you can see in this replay, we're doing pretty much the same thing. You know, two baby dragons on both sides of the queen where I want to charge her in. And then I send in a few wall breakers. This time I didn't have any cocoa loons. And I just had like an extra baby dragon. You can do whichever. I do suggest you that you have a cocoa loon. This time, as you can see, my wall breakers kind of failed. So I did have to end up using a jump spell to get my queen to go inside the base. It's fine. If you're a subscriber of my channel, you know how to deal with that because you're an amazing attacker. Now, I drop a poison spell onto these little skeletons just to deal with them a little bit faster. And as you can see, I just kind of go into the base i'm dealing with a gold storage right now and storages when you're queen charging they can be annoying because they have a whole lot of hit points and so it takes your queen a pretty long time to deal with it now one of the biggest things with this attack strategy is time fails it's hard to avoid them so you want to make sure that you have a very high level queen and you want to keep her raged up for most of the time so make sure you bring a whole lot of rage spells and only like one jump spell have your entire army pretty much or all your spells pretty much be rage spells so now as you can see my queen she's just gonna like knock down a few walls pretty much and it's annoying you know because time is a very important factor but that's fine and that's life and as you can see my queen she doesn't have like an objective because baby dragons are very strong troops when they're alone and each one of them individually has a you know a lot of value and another thing i want to mention with this stack strategy is that i have level 4 baby dragons which isn't max level for a town hall 11 and so if you have a higher town so if you have level 5 baby dragons which you can have then you're gonna be much stronger than i am with a stack strategy and you'll, you're gonna be able to three star much stronger bases and i just want to mention how even though i don't have you know a high level baby dragons i'm still capable of three starring very strong bases and you know that's incredible 
Now, at this point, I just started, you know, spreading down my baby dragons all across the base. I sent my Grand Warden kind of to help around with my queen with her ability and stuff like that. Because I don't want her to die. And I wanted my queen to, you know, get that little health boost from my Grand Warden and all that good stuff. And I just keep my baby dragons going around the base. And as you can see, at this point, it doesn't look too good, you know. The opponent still has their eagle artillery, their archer towers, and a whole lot of wizard towers and strong defenses. And I only have one baby dragon left, but you know what? I persevere because every single one of these baby dragons alone is very strong. And I wouldn't say I swag these two because I did use them, but I could have gotten away without using them. And just like so, that's another three star quickly gotten. I was able to swag one baby dragon. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is even easier than squeezing a lemon. So, um... It's it's an amazing attack strategy. As you can see, once again, no clan castle or siege machine. I really suggest that you guys try using this attack strategy. Because if you're able to queen charge, you're able to use this attack strategy. It's how it is. And I will make another video on how to queen charge. If you don't know how to do that yet, don't worry about it. Subscribe to me. That video will maybe come out tomorrow, after tomorrow, or soon. Anyways, that is the end of the video. I truly hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Because I upload Clash of Clans on every single day at 2pm. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.